Welcome to the first CBOA training video for the 2019 season. Today our focus will be on positioning for plays at the plate. Over the last handful of years, the technique that we've been teaching working the plate is often referred to as the wedge technique. It's finding that window or space between the catcher's glove and the connection point between the runner's leg. Often, we'll work off the catcher's left hip. So let's review a few starting points before we look at some video. First, we'll still want to start at the point of home plate. We'll look to move and work so that you end up just off the left hip of the catcher in most cases. And again, we're looking for that angle between the catcher as he reaches for the runner. Let's look at these three video examples. On the first play, we're going to have a ball hit to the outfield and a potential play at the plate develop. In this clip, our umpire really does a fairly poor job in terms of his plate positioning. So again, we would want to start at the point of the plate and then work to maintain an angle off the catcher's left hip. We'll look at a couple angles here on the review and there's a lot of things that we can all improve from. The first is the umpire is far too close to this play. You'll see from one of the side angle replays that he actually gets clipped by the runner at the end of the play. Ironically, the angle here of this camera is ideally where we would have liked our umpire to have been. Again, starting at the point of home plate and then working so that you maintain an angle off of the catcher's left hip. Now this play went to replay and you see one of our base umpires doing a good job of getting the defensive team to come back out onto the field to maintain their positions while the play is under review. So again, you see our umpire is too close. In our angle, we would want to be on the opposite side of where this camera was, working off the left hip. Right here, this camera angle is where we would have liked our umpire to have been. Over on this side of the play, off that catcher's left hip, and that play really would have opened up. One more time from the top. Again, you see that we're just too close. There's contact with the runner. Now, in this case, fortunately, we still get the play right, which is confirmed by replay. But our positioning could have been much, much better to give us a better look at that play. Let's look at a second one. And here we'll see some improvement from the first to the second. Another base hit. Ball is going to be hit here to the outfield. And our plate umpire does a pretty good job here of starting at the point of home plate. Now, the throw is going to be slightly to the first side, first base side. And he's going to end up reaching back for the runner's foot in a very close play at the front corner of the plate. Again, we'll look at a couple of different replay angles here as we go. First, our positioning in terms of distance is better. When comparing this to the first clip, our umpire is a step or two further back, which gives him much better spacing on this play. Second, does a really good job of getting his nose in here because the key judgment is going to be does the foot get to the front corner ultimately before the glove gets there. So you can see we're set, get a pretty good look, spacing is better, and we really end up at the back point of the plate on this play. Now if we were keeping that angle off the catcher's left hip, our umpire would have been a step or two to his right, maybe would have gotten just a little bit better look, but all in all, the positioning here is, is pretty solid to where we get a really good look at a tight play. And this one also goes to replay. And we'll see uh, when our crew chief comes out of the replay area that this one was also confirmed as being correct. So some things to learn from from the first play. Better spacing. We're a step or two further back. And we ended up in a pretty good place to see that play. Our third and final clip is the perfect example of where we want to be on plays like this. As you can see, the throw was up the line. And here our umpire does a good job of working off the left hip of the catcher. And as you can see from this angle, the catcher does clip the runner's foot with the tag. So here the camera angle is right at the catcher's left hip. We see the swipe tag at the back of the heel of the runner. And our umpire when comparing it to the first two plays, really does a good job here of working to maintain that angle off the catcher's left hip 
to really get a good look at the play, get it correct, which is also confirmed by replay. One more time, the opposite side, we're off the left hip, the play really opens up. Again, here is the umpire angle. Pretty solid job. So a few things just to remember when working on these plays at the plate, start on the catcher's left hip. And as the play develops, we want to work to keep that angle. We then want to be in that spot where we can see the glove and the runner connect. Slow timing, see the whole play, and get it right. 